Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome to the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. I'm sure everybody knows the old Coleridge uh, story of the man that was known as the Ancient Mariner. I know I had to read it in English class in high school. Someone actually made a game based on it. So let's check it out. Warning, this game is meant to be played in one sitting. As a default setting, the difficulty is high. Should a player lose at any point, he or she will have to restart from the beginning. Well, that's kind of dickish. This will add to a sense of frustration and desperation that our character will feel throughout his journey. However, you can choose to take your time and use save points to mark your progress and make your journey easier. Oh yeah, I am definitely using save points. Your choice has been recorded. Safe points will take the form of floating crystals. Okay. Finally, a game about reading books! Such a momentous occasion. I shall explore this boundless library and read all the books ever written. Even if it costs me my eyesight and probably my sanity. Today I shall finish reading the text on my table, one from a writer from my future. It's not Twilight, is it? The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, so a poem by a Mr. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, from my future. Uh, but wait for now. Perhaps I should see what else I have on the shelf before I start reading. Let's see what he does have. Random. Are you a oh, Divine Comedy by Dante? A visual masterpiece if I've ever seen one. I was gonna say that wasn't the one. Randomly stack The Life of Samuel Johnson by James Boswell. Not familiar with either of them, they must be from my future. Beowulf, the great English epic. It's certainly worth a reread sometime in the future. And definitely not made into a crappy movie with Angelina Jolie. The Wasteland. I can't say the title aspires good in me. Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold. Seems like it might be a poem about nature. Gilgamesh, the ancient Sumerian poem. I might read this later. And then maybe I'll play Final Fantasy because he was in there too. Okay, is there anything this way? I shan't waste this greatest of moments to play a game about a great poem. Read on then, dear player. The text is on the top of the table. Gee, thanks. Okay. Let's get started. It is an ancient mariner, and he stoppeth one of three. By thy long beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stoppest thou me? Ooh. Which one am I? Oh, I'm this guy. Oh, look at me, I'm a big posh fella. Look at me. Bridegroom's desires are open wine, I am next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set. Mayest hear the merry din. Hello. Seems as though the bride is ready to pace into the hall. Red as a rose she is. Is she? And I guess this is my save point here. Yes. Hold you! By the long grey beard and glittering eye, now wherefore st stoppest thou me? There was a ship. Now, what happened in the story was you, that line, you were supposed to listen to the ancient mariner. As if I was a three years child, I cannot choose but hear. Thus speak on, ancient man, you bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered, the harbor cleared, merrily did we drop. Below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. And now we are the mariner. Hello. Hi. Hi, right, my friend. May I interest you in some wares? Why would I need to buy anything? I don't have money. And I have a crossbow. Why do I have a crossbow? Tis told a story of how a ship, having passed the line, was driven by storms to the cold country, towards the South Pole, and how from thence she made her course to the tropical latitude of the great Pacific Ocean, and of the strange things that befell, and in what manner the mariner there came back to its own country. I shall tell thee of it some day, if I survive. Oh wait, I do survive. Okay, I'll go talk to the blue man group here. 
Permits have been clear that it'll be a profitable voyage. Okay. How about you, sir? Only crew members may come below decks. What, aren't I one? No, okay. And you, good sir. I can't wait till we're out at sea. You're very optimistic. The merchant doth have its wares, and the traveler be strong as an ox and clever as a fox. What about ye, boy? Thy hands be skinny, lad, but ye certain that ye be an eggful mariner. Aye. Well then, lad, get to get great day as any other to set sail. Yee, jelly music. Oh, what is feeling? I shouldn't have eaten. Yeah, seasickness. It's a bitch. Are you sick too? Fancy some fishing, lad? Aye. Then cast away, lad. Cast away. This morning the sun came upon the left, so the sea came he. Let us cast our rods then while he shines bright on the right till he goes down onto the sea. What's going on? Am I fishing? Or am I just walking back and forth for no reason? You caught a fish? Yeah! Nice catch. I reckon we'll have ourselves a fine feast tomorrow. The sun is starting to go under the horizon. You should get some sleep. It's my turn to see a ship hit through too. Okay. Vroom vroom. And all that jazz. It got dark. And I can't go up there. How about you, good sir? Sun air on the right went down into the sea. You should get some rest. Good idea. Is that guy still puking his guts out? That sucks. Save. What of you, good sir? Oh, hi, my friend. My interest you in some wares. Any more stuff? Nope. You. Why do you? Are you here? I don't even need you. Is there anything in any of these chests? Not sure what I'm doing. What am I doing here? Do I have to talk to the captain? Is that it? Hi, right, Captain. Good job so far, lass. I keep the voyage. I hope his voyage keeps this clear throughout. Are you still throwing up? Yeah, okay. You're going to bed. Walk any slower, why don't you? God, I think I got a gray hair just from waiting. Alright. You yep. Maybe tomorrow I'll have a better day. Next time, I won't volunteer. Stay in jail. What? What? Anything I can sell? I can sell my fish. Oh, well, that's exciting. Seriously, what, do I just go for more fishing? Do I fish some more? Sun is falling below the horizon. Oh, I guess I'm getting everybody to bed. I don't know how to get to the guy on top. I'm hitting the sack. You lads have a good evening. Okay. You should get some rest. Okay, I think that's everybody. Also, wouldn't it be lad? I'm, a, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a girl. I mean, real life I'm a girl, but not in this. In this, big on ancient mariner, bright eyed mariner. What? Okay, time for bed. You've awoken. Come hither. I have something for you. What? Oops, I didn't mean to go back to bed. Ah, uh, you save. You, you, 
You might need this. I got a bow. Thank you. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Seems like the storm blast came and he is tyrannous and strong. Ugh. Flash. Okay, where are we doing? Hold the to that, hold the line. This captain needs you on the bow of the bow of the boat. Get to I'll hold the mast. Be useful, you. No time for stories now, lad. Captain needs you at the bow of the at the bow of the vessel. How do I get up to the bow of the vessel? You. Ah. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? I don't see stairs. Is there like another passageway down this way or something? I don't, it's also raining inside. That's not a good sign. Um, now how do I get up on the bow? How do I get up there? How do I get on there? I don't see a way to get on there. Says the guy who's running around like an idiot. But how do I get up on the bow? Oh, there you go. Like, that's the bow? Okay, whatever. The storm! He struck with, our with his overtaking wings. Now lead us south along. Oh god, I'm controlling the boat. Oh, south. South. Ah, hey! Then go south, right? Ugh. No, 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 don't hit an iceberg! Don't hit an iceberg! Don't pull a Titanic on me now! Come on! Stop! Stop that! No! 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 Do not! Do not hit anything! Or so help me, you will die! Stop that! Stop it now! Stupid boat! Ugh. No, 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 no. Stop it. This is stressful. No, no, stop it. Where the hell am I going? Ah. No, stop it! No, 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 no! Oh jeez! Ah, no, no, no! Don't hit anything! Where the heck am I going? Where the- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa! Calm your pits, dude! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, 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 no. Bad ship, bad ship. Stop doing that. Why do you just randomly do that? Stop it. Am I there yet? There, I behold an albatross for the fog it came. Surely tis a Christian soul. We must hail it in God's name. Follow the albatross. Ah! Follow the albatross! Oh crap, where did it go? There it is! Come back here, you damn bird! Hold still, you damn bird! I'm trying to catch up to you! Where'd it go? There you are, okay. Don't fly ahead! Stop it! 
Where are you? Where did it go? Where did it go? There you are. Okay. Stop flying ahead. Just stop that. Flying up this way, okay. Hey, we landed in the ocean. We made it, lads. We reached real life. The ship drove fast, loud roared the blast, the southward eye we fled. And there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold, and ice mast high came floating by. Nor shapes of men nor beasts we ken, the ice was all beaten between. And if it were not for the albatross stuck in the ice, we would still be. I'll thank the Lord for sending us the albatross to guide our way. Now what? Do I get control still? Oh, I still have control. Okay. Where am I going? Is that an, the albatross I see? Sure seems that way, Captain. Aye, lad, you did a great job guiding us through. Feel free to go rest whenever you feel tired. You've earned it. Aye, aye, sir. Rest sounds delightful, sir. Thank you. Hooray, we did it. Are you still sick? Did well, the room was stuck, but I can't for life me. Bleh. Hooray for the albatross. Quite impressive for a first voyage. Keep it up and you'll kick me out of first mate in no time. You think? You wish. I'm afraid we'd never escape the storm and ice, yet you somehow with the albatross led us through. Jersey McConaughey is thankful for the albatross. You should be too. Bloody good job, lad. Alright. Okay, I'm going to bed. Bye. Yep, I am sleeping now, because after that, I woo. Where am I going? With that good wind sprung from high, it seems the albatross will thus follow. There he is, hello. Every day it comes the albatross to guide the way. Indeed, like the captain said, it is like a Christian soul. Second half of the voyage has been heavenly. Albatross and Mr. Cold on Master Shroud had perched for Vespers 9. While Saul 9 through fog smoke white glimmered the white moonshine. Got some supplies in the cargo. Help yourself then. I can't tell you this will be my last trip. I'm sorry, dude. So, I got a potion! I got a potion! I got a potion! What am I gonna do with it? Okay, I guess I'm sleeping again. In somebody else's ship, or bed. The albatross doth come every day for food and play it follows. Land ho, lads! I see the ports! They should be home within the hour, lads. It'd be a great idea to keep the albatross as a memento of our journey. Let us take her with us and stuff her. That way we remember how she saved our lives. Oh. Right. Should make sure to equip my crossbow. Equip crossbow. Access my equipment first. Alright, fine. Oh, I know where this is going! I know where this is going! Uh, yeah, 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 it's a battle. Okay, why not? I wouldn't be using uh, that kind of music. This is not a good thing. What have I done? What have you done? I shot the albatross. You have doomed us! Those slimy things do crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. Come hither, I shall give thee means to defend thyself. 
Yeah, we kind of screwed up. Get away from me! I would too. Oh dear! You have us done a tireless thing and it will work us well. And what the hell are those things? Wonder what happens now. We're all gonna die. How about die? Die? Uh. Okay, I guess I'm fighting fish monster thingies. Sahajans. Ooh, this is not gonna end well, is it? My skills? No, I don't have any skills. I can only just attack. Gee, thanks. Now what do I do? Besides kill more Sajans. Yeah, I would get away from me after that. You hard wretch the bird to slay that made the winds to blow. Dun yeah, pretty much. Alright, I guess I'm killing more of you. Oh, he killed me. All the authors are dead. Well, buggery do. I gotta go kill the albatross again.